Red flags of a narcissist's sense of entitlement. For someone to be on the spectrum of the narcissist personality disorder, people would need at least five of the nine criteria. One of these being that sense of entitlement. They have an unreasonable expectation of special treatment. They're always looking to meet a need of their own. They want to have everything their own way. And if things aren't going their way, they're going to ruin everyone else's day. The other criteria are a belief they are special, exploitative, grandiose, lack of empathy, envy, requires excessive attention, preoccupied with their ideal, those arrogant and haunty behaviours. When it comes to narcissistic people, they are all about self. They are going to accuse you of being selfish when they're not getting their own way. However, this is usually an admission of the narcissist's true character. Narcissistic people can play very nice and come across as genuine, kind, helpful, loyal people. This is only to manipulate because they want something from you in return. The admiration face where they will boast and they will brag, even exaggerate their achievements to win someone over, to influence another into believing in the narcissist, believing in the narcissist lies so they can manipulate and take advantage of the person they're influencing. And that is one of the most confusing things about narcissistic people. They do not treat you or those around you badly all of the time. The thing is, when narcissistic people don't get what they want, when they don't get their own way, out comes their envious face as they feel entitled They take it as an in-depth criticism when they don't get what they want and their tantrums begin, slowly breaking down other people's boundaries with the narcissist gaslighting, their triangulation, pity plays, guilt trips and many more manipulative tactics. They seek to take out those they feel are not serving the narcissist as they should not admiring the narcissist as they should because they seek that excessive attention. So if a narcissist feels they're not getting the attention they believe they're entitled to, they believe that they can go around and punish you. When a narcissist feels criticised, slighted or betrayed by another, they can rage or they can passive-aggressively fall silence on you. Holding on to a grudge for a long time, they can be extremely envious of others, often seeking to destroy those they are envious of. They're very envious of those who have something that they want and they will put those people down any way they can. They will, of course, have a grand tale to spin of why the narcissist themselves were the victim And we often then feel sorry for the narcissist and do all we can to support the narcissist. Narcissistic people like to gather an army of enablers through the narcissist gaslighting because the enablers don't know the full story. They only know the story that the narcissist leads them to believe, to draw out the compassion within the enablers so that the enablers support the narcissist in their mind games of destroying another. In reality, a narcissist wasn't the victim. They were the whole, they're the one that holds grudges against others. They're the one that goes around hurting others and then plays the victim. The narcissist is more often than not the perpetrator. They might have suffered some form of some form of trauma within their life, but that does not excuse their present behaviour that is on them. Depending on the individual narcissist would depend on how their entitlement comes across, whether they show that entitlement to others overtly or covertly grandiose or the victim. Signs of a narcissist entitlement are rarely helps others out unless there's something to gain for themselves. 
However, with their double standards, they expect others to help them and they give very little in return. Narcissists are more than happy to take and extremely unwilling to give. They only give for manipulation's sake. A narcissist believes they deserve special treatment. They believe they deserve special attention. They don't accept responsibility for their behaviour. They're always looking for somebody else to blame so that they can escape taking any form of accountability. A narcissist will rarely to never admit fault. If you're unlucky enough to get a false apology for them, it's always a case of I'm sorry you, I'm sorry but, I'm sorry if, as they pass the blame for their behaviour on to somebody else, as they try to justify their behaviour by blaming someone else. No matter what you give a narcissist, no matter what you serve a narcissist, it is never enough for them. They do not appreciate what you already give them. They're not going to appreciate anything else you give them. They always want more. Narcissistic people are extremely envious of others and will often criticise, judge and mock other people. They're looking for ways to bring other people down to feel better within themselves. Often claiming that others have all the luck, that others suck up to people, that somebody was privileged, that someone got special treatment, that someone got something that the narcissist didn't because they often believe that the other person stole it from the narcissist. This can be down to the fact that some narcissistic people know they are stealing from others. Narcissists always tend to look for something to complain about. They're always on the negative side of life when we listen closely enough and they tend to lack self-awareness. Nothing's ever their fault. They're never wrong. They don't see the part that they played. They find somebody else to blame. They do not accept the word no for an answer because they believe they're entitled to have everything their own way. No does not compute within their mind and they will go around many manipulation tactics to try and get people to change their no into a yes. Entitled narcissists have an unreasonable demand that others should conform to their way, believing they are deserving of special treatment. They don't think they should be made to wait for anything. In restaurants, a table should just be ready for them. Fast food restaurants, their food should be there instantly. They don't think they should have to queue up for things and they can become very impatient. They don't believe they have to pay their way or think others or they think that others should pay more than them. A narcissist believes that they can turn up late for you and everyone should be instantly grateful that they turned up at all but due to their double standards you are not allowed to be late for them. They will go off without you. Narcissists do not accept the word No, I know I've repeated this, but they really do not like that word. That is one major red flag, somebody who doesn't understand no. They can try to talk their way into places, claiming that they know people or even just stating, don't you know who I am? And if that doesn't work, they can become very aggressive and insulting to the people that aren't letting them in. A narcissist will intimidate staff to try and get their own way. They will point out others' flaws, others' mistakes and gloat about people's downfalls. They will tantrum like a toddler when they don't get their own way. A narcissist will project their entitlement to those close to them with their gaslighting words of why do you have to be so unreasonable? The narcissist projection as they tell on themselves as they shift the blame over to somebody else. When you set a boundary with them, it's a case of a narcissist will gaslight you with it's not all about you. The narcissist projection because they believe it's all about themselves. When you try to have an opinion Or if you'd like to do something, a narcissist is going to accuse you of being the awkward one. Some narcissists might feel entitled to have control over your whereabouts, wanting your location settings turned on, wanting all your passwords. However, 
due to their double standards, you'll not be allowed to have theirs. It'll not be a two-way street, only a one-way, the narcissist entitled way. A narcissist doesn't believe they should work for a promotion. They believe it's a given. And if it's not a given, then the other person sucked up to get that promotion. When it comes to narcissistic people, they can be some of the most self-centered people you have ever met and not in a good way. They're not looking to take care of themselves so that they can better care of those they care for. They're looking for others to take care of them so that they don't have to take care of others. When it comes to a narcissist and when it comes to your opinion, a narcissist is going to gaslight you as far away from the truth as possible to match theirs. This is the narcissist manipulation. Trying to get a narcissist to see somebody else's opinion, someone else's perception of a situation is just simply trying to have a conversation with them. Yet a narcissist will take this as you trying to manipulate them and this is when they often will then seek to try to punish you because a narcissist feels they have to be superior to you and those around them. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please add those into the comments. If anyone has any signs they noticed of a narcissist entitlement, please also add those into the comments. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to this channel, this channel is all about narcissistic behaviour. To give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with in your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact, and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, then please do subscribe. If you are looking for further information, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.